Experiential Global Transformation. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 242. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 242, November 12th, 2017 edition. Today's topic, experiential global transformation. Everything you see happening in the background of the video right here is our path to experiential global transformation. More specifically, what one community is creating is an open source and free shared template for what we call highest good living and a path to being able to experience what we call highest good living. Now for us, highest good living is living based on sustainability and covering all the foundations of physical sustainability and combining them with the foundations of what we call emotional sustainability. Physical foundations are food, energy, and housing built with sustainable infrastructure. And then the emotional foundations would be highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability that we think most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now and inviting people to participate. Like a sustainability bed and breakfast, only it's a complete sustainable teacher demonstration community, village, and ultimately city that operates as a hub for teaching others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as well. Or just sharing the experience of, the, of living at a place like one community where everything a person needs is within walking distance, where the air quality is clean, where the air is clean, where the water is clean, where the food is grown without pesticides and herbicides and poisons and things that you wouldn't want to put in your body, and where all of your recreational activities, educational op opportunities, social architecture, all these things are within walking distance and inviting the world to participate. A place where eventually Tens of thousands of people will be able to visit annually and experience what it is that we do and take all of it or any aspect of it and be able to replicate it for yourself. Creating a teacher demonstration hub that anybody anywhere in the world can come and visit, experience. If you like what it is that you see, you can either replicate the complete model totally casting off the current economic models and creating a place where nobody needs to work a traditional job. Instead, the entire environment is designed to provide all the needs for everybody that lives there and to grow and support itself through sharing itself through ecotourism. Of course, I've said this before in previous videos, but it's been a while. The irony of one community is that it's designed to be an amazing place to live and that people will pay to come and visit that place and it's an open source free shared model designed to replicate itself. So the irony is, is that people will pay to come and visit that place, but the good news is it's designed to teach and share everything that's necessary so that people can replicate it for themselves and create that model after experiencing it, if they like it, so that they can live that way as well. And this is why I call it experiential global transformation because we believe that once people experience what it is one community is purpose to be and what it is evolving into, we believe that the vast majority of people that are experiencing it will realize that it really doesn't make a lot of sense to vacation in a place like that if you could live full time in a place like that. And that's what we want to do. We want to demonstrate the experience of living in a place like that and show everyone how to replicate it for themselves. And because it's open source, because it's all free shared, it's designed so that people disagree with the way that we're doing something or think that they can do it better or have a better idea great make it better and if you want to open source and free share your modifications adaptations and designs one community will help to promote that promote your work promote your own village your own community your own teacher demonstration hub just like we promote ours to help spread the word get people to come and visit experience that as well and so that there are more and more options for people to replicate and build off of through this process of experiential global transformation we see a path to creating a truly sustainable world that will benefit everybody within our lifetime. 
creating self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. Self-replicating because we are here to demonstrate them as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough that others will want to replicate what it is that we're doing. And that's the exper experiential global transformation aspect of what it is that we're creating. Everything that you see happening in the background of the video here is our models that we will be inviting people to come and experience Come stay in a shipping container village or an earth bag constructed village or in a straw bale village or a cob village or a treehouse village. Come and stay in what it is that we're creating. If you like what it is that you see, then either join the team at one community or join the team helping to build these in other places around the world or start your own, bring together your own team or just take it and build it for your own use. It doesn't have to be a teacher demonstration community village city or hub, but it is designed as a teacher demonstration hub that if you invite people to participate, it will generate sufficient revenue to get people out of debt and to continuously expand itself, to be able to grow and evolve the models for individual use or group use however you want. The revenue stream is built into the model such that the more you share it and the more successful we as an organization are at making the place that we're creating fun to live in, enjoyable to, invite, to experience and share, the more successful it will be. And so it's built on win-win-win relationships. Win for the people living there, win for the people visiting, and win for the planet. And of course, surrounding communities on the smaller scale, but on the biggest scale, win for the planet. And we believe that if we can create the self-replicating model, well, we know if we can create a self-replicating model and you run the numbers, within 30 years, if it were to double each year, 50 people were to start, to start one community, and the next year that inspires two more groups to start a version of one community. And then the year after that, if that inspires four more groups, and then eight, and then 16, and then 32, as media attention grows, as more and more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints are created, as the options become more diverse and more available and easier to replicate because more open source plans are being created, the faster the idea will spread, and that's what this model is all about. If we don't create a completely sustainable civilization within our lifetime, that's okay. We're still taking huge steps in the right direction. We will create an open source foundation for housing, food, energy, education, uh, economic models, all the different components of our project, fulfilled living models, the stewardship models, everything open source and free shared so people can either replicate the complete aspect of our project, the complete project, or just individual components for personal use, whatever it is that people want. This is how one community is creating world change, and this is our idea for experiential global transformation. Now, let's check out one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards these goals. Here it is. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week we designed the horseshoe game area, worked on the croquet area, and finished designing the domino game area. The core team also redrew the Treehouse Village Pod 7 floor plan and added this new image to the website. In addition, the core team continued working on the Murphy bed instructions, continuing to test different layouts. Shown here are the latest layouts with this week's revisions. And the core team continued creating the thermal leg page. This week, we added and organized all of the data and images, created all the different sections, and proofread the page. We also created click to enlarge options for all the detailed images. The core team also added more image descriptions and updated the complete formatting for the compressed earth block village pod 4 open source hub, some of which you can see here. And the core team added more image descriptions and updated the complete formatting for the shipping container village pod 5 open source hub, some of which you can see here. Sungum Stanzek, PhD and PE, continued her work on the open source wet lab that will be used to test and assure the safety of the filtered gray water from the communal eco shower. This week's focus was writing additional content for what will become the wet lab creation tutorial. Heymanth Kodera, structural engineering master's student, completed his 12th week with us doing research and running calculations for the Earth Bank Village. This week's focus was research and calculations for the buttresses, as shown here. 
and Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 27th week volunteering with our team. This week's focus was taking over the vermiculture toilet chamber designs. You can see some of this last week's work in progress designs here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 89 of Dean's work, rebuilding the pantry so it will have glass walls. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 62nd week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was a new final render of the third floor rooftop looking west, new section view images, and working on the 3D details needed so we can create quality renders of the front of the village. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his sixth week working on the compressed earth block village render editions. This week, he finished adding people and additional aesthetics to this final render of the Earth Block Village massage room looking northeast, which you can also now see on the website. Apart in Tandon, Architect, continued her work on the compressed Earth Block Village external elements. What you see here is her 38th week of work, finishing the presentation for Zones 2 and 4, which is now live on the website also. Samantha Robinson, graphic designer, completed her 14th week of work on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village. This week's focus, as shown here, was more unwrapping and texturing of the stairs and bed components and related objects. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the City Center structural engineering tutorial. What you see here is the seventh week of writing content. This week's content focus was adding more details to the snow load section, as seen in these screenshots taken during their weekly collaborative call. Falgu and Patil, mechanical engineer, completed his 11th week volunteering with the team. This week's focus was editing his new content on the Highest Good Energy page and thoroughly reviewing the hydronic and sustainable water heating pages to understand the systems and update the energy rollout spreadsheet with new values and items. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 56th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was fixing software problems and continuing to update the second floor zones over the mezzanine level, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued researching data for nutrition guidelines for our food self-sufficiency transition plan and sustainable food nutrition calculations page, and organized and prepared items to add to the website as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued adding to the education, evaluation, and evolution process open source pages and tutorials. This week, we created the formatting and began entering the content for the collaborative ongoing growth strategies page, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. The core team and Ashwin Patil, web developer, finished the edits and updates to the Highest Good Society and Highest Good Energy search engines. Both are now 100% complete and live on the site. Samya Manohar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, continued her work developing the Highest Good Network software. This week's focus was testing the Shima with MongoDB and researching the badges and badge relationships, some of which you can see here. Jaganathan Shankar Mahadavan, mechanical engineer, and Aravind Vasudavan, BA in mechanical engineering, continued working on the climate battery designs and research by using these equations to start building a new spreadsheet that will calculate how much heat is stored in the battery at any time during the year. There you have it. 
There is one week of our team's progress towards experiential global transformation and creating one community as a place that you can actually come and experience and visit and take everything that you see as open source and free shared content and replicate it if you want. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, all the free shared things that we're creating, everything it is that we've talked about in this video and so much more, visit our written blog or visit our website. Check it out. There's, there's more content there than I could ever describe in one video. Take a look at what we're creating. It's immense. Uh, if you'd like to support us, the easiest way to do that is through sharing our information. We're on all the different social social media networks make it as easy as possible. Of course, subscribing to our YouTube channel is a great way to start. We are also on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, about 15 other social media networks. So sharing our information, liking this video, liking our information, all of that is hugely helpful. Of course, I'd like to say thank you, of course, to everybody who donates to our project. We are 100% volunteer, unpaid staff. So every single dollar that's donated to us goes towards our open source goals, supporting our website, uh, infrastructure evolution, and all of our open source creative process, and maintaining an organization, which is a global organization like One Community. So thank you for all the donations that we get. And of course, thanks for watching to the end. We appreciate the support. Watching all the way to the end of the video is uh, not something that most people do. So if you're watching this and you've made it to the end, Thank you very much for watching to the end. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you. Have a great week.